up game welcome back gonna do a quick video today on my virtual 4k ultra v pin as you can see i have the data east jurassic park original wrap this is basically a replica of the one that i used to own and when i decided i wanted to you know bump it up to a 4k and do a virtual pin that's why i wanted to have this design but if you look here on the back speakers just gonna do a little modification on those. These speakers are normally like a yellow circle with the black JP dinosaur skeleton in the negative space. And I have a little project I'm gonna do. Let me show you what I got. Boom, so I had these little black acrylic JP, like uh, they're speaker acrylics, if you will. I'm going to be modifying the speaker grill, painting them yellow. I'll fix this to the outside and make it look just that much more authentic. You can get these speaker acrylics made for a multitude of different pinball machines. I bought these from Cointaker.com. It's a very fitting name for a company that does this stuff. So Cointaker.com does cut these acrylics. Um, head over there and take a look at some of the others if you're interested in doing something like this. But Without any further ado, let's get the grills out. If you look closely here, we got a couple little hex head bolts, screws I should say, that come out. I already have them loosened up. So I'm going to take the rest of them out and we will get this grill off. So here we have the speaker grill removed from the front of the back box. Easy peasy. There's some little fins in here. If you look right there, it's the only thing that holds them on. Those little fins are bent over. And once you bend them out, you can pry it off. We'll do that right now. So now you can see here we have the little fins propped up straight. So you can essentially just slide. You can pop the grill right out. Probably not the best camera angle, but just trying to do everything with phone in one hand and the speaker grill in the other. Let's go get them painted. Probably worth noting that you might want to have some tiny screws on hand. I did think about uh, like affixing them to the front of the grills without using screws, but if you look here, these little acrylics do have some holes. And these little screws essentially fit right there. I'm going to paint the tops of the screw heads black and uh, make it look nice and pretty. Uh, I was debating on maybe using uh, either hot glue or super glue or something like that, but the screw will be a nice solid way to attach them. Here's how I got the screws. Just kind of poked them into some uh, cardboard. Gonna get them sprayed nice and black, maybe a couple coats. And um, we're gonna set the grills up a similar way. And then we will get everything painted. Voila, just like that. So I'll probably do another coat of yellow on the grills, the screws, I've uh, thrown a couple coats on, and just open up a grocery bag, throw it in the driveway, throw a couple quick coats, call it a day, and then we will work on putting the acrylics on the speakers. You know, gotta make it my own. Mod it up a bit. So stay tuned, we're gonna get back to the acrylics here in a bit. Here we go, got the almost finished product. Just put the freshly painted grills back into their frames. And we're gonna go ahead and kinda dry fit the old. Oh, they're already looking stellar right there. Let's get these things put on and uh, hop right back to it. Got one completely done here. Got the screws in and everything. If you look, I took my drill here. Through a couple little pilot holes through there to get through the grill. Make it a little easier to uh, tighten those screws up. So just about done. Done deal. All right, let's uh, mount them. Got them all screwed in. Everything's looking juicy. And I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, here we go. Final product, done and mounted speaker grills. Uh, yep, I took one more step. I actually taped off the outer edges of the acrylics, popped the grill back out, and sprayed the outer ring red because that is a little bit more of an authentic look compared to what the original JP cabinet has. So, um, yep, there we go. Let's kill the lights in here real quick. And we got the lights off now. So, 
That's what she looks like in a darker room. We're uh, got the JP up and running, so everything gels. Everything's looking nice, nice and crispy in here. Um, you guys, I appreciate you watching. Please stay tuned. I'll have plenty more little mod videos and things that I'm either going to be doing to this uh, virtual pinball machine or to other machines in the game room. So as always, I appreciate all of you for your likes, shares, subscriptions, all of that good stuff. Please mash that bell and uh, join me on my live streams. And um, yeah, let's lose. Turned out great. See you next time, guys.